Uh, sir, from here, it's uh, over to you. Thank you, Priyank. Good morning to all of you. I won't say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That is for Dr. Plunk to say that. So welcome to the 15th edition of uh, USAIC's. Uh, this has been a tough time for all of us, like we met in September for a virtual meeting, and here we are in June 22nd, and still we are going through the COVID. People have survived the first wave, the second wave, and I was in India in April, and it was pretty, I would say, bad situation. Like, you know, we all watched on TV here in the US and Europe over there, but it was really heartbreaking. And uh, I think the entire system was totally, oh, totally overwhelmed, you know, what was going on over there. The good thing is, you know, when I came back here in the you know, beginning of May, there was such a tremendous amount of support and uh, assistance from the US biopharma companies, the large, and even the startups. I was getting almost about a couple of calls per day on the startups they wanted to give their you know, you know, uh, testing equipment and the kits and the PPE. So, and tons of money has been uh, given as assistance over there. This shows the real uh, heart of this industry. A uh, lot of lives which could have been saved have gone. People have survived this first and the second wave. I think we have to make sure that there is no third wave. And if it is there, we don't have this kind of disastrous effects over there. So I really want to thank you know, all the pharma, you know, big biopharma companies which came together, uh, be it Pfizer or Amgen or Biogen, Takeda, Sanofi, Janssen, and all of them, and even individuals, and they never want to talk about, you know, how much they've given. In fact, uh, I have a, you know, good friend in the media, and he wanted to do a story, like how much money has gone in, and I know who, how much they've given. But look at the heart of this, you know, generous people. They never want to even discuss it, how much they've given, because... They did what was right, and that is what our industry is for. The patient-driven kind want to save lives and work for the innovation for the global mankind over there. Uh, we have a couple of thousand people which are registered today. Uh, we made it uh, free in this situation for COVID worldwide. It's a great lineup. Uh, and glad to say that over 1,500 1, 1, students have registered all over uh, the world, including from India and they are watching it live. So these are the future leaders who will do innovation and in R&D and help patients with new discoveries over there. Uh, I also want to thank all our sponsors because I've thanked all the big you know, pharma and the biotech which helped India in this crisis. So I shouldn't miss any name. So I'll talk, start with uh, Econ, AI, Alexion, Amgen, Biocon, Biogen, Janssen, Jubilant, Merck, Sun Pharma, and Takeda. Thank you so much, all of you. Access and equity are, you know, pretty much uh, in discussion for the last 15 years, and not so much like it's come to this now in the last uh, year or so. And you'll be hearing about it today in the entire discussion. So I want to thank everybody 